Good morning and hello, Pilipinas! Welcome to our second plot episode of Hello, Pilipinas! Oh, yes, uh, we apologize uh, for starting it late today as I was all a deep sleep and the worship hour was already postponed because of Mr. Steven not being with us right now, but it's okay, I would say, so that. He's, he's right now in the ch physical church, so unfortunately, he's not with us for today. So, yeah, right. So, before we start, um, of course, there will be, uh, of course, we will be talking about what, what's coming up in, in Hello Pilipinas and, and, and along with, uh, also, we can be talking about with Hello Pilipinas and uh, also of uh, a dedicated cool news segment. All right, so while we're at it, well, uh, since I'm the only one here, I guess. Well, okay, so okay, so guys, uh, as you know, uh, it's showtime on GMA. What well, uh, premiered uh on on GMA seven for the first time, and it was really a historical uh, moment for Philippine television history. Uh, we we oh, I was so proud that uh, the main network have finally the main network have uh, finally aired it's showtime it we all deserved and it was really cool yeah really cool okay so I think we can start uh, cool news today at first let me just get the iPad to prepare the news but in the meantime I guess we can start talking about what's coming up on cool news today so since no i don't know what i mean am i going to be doing mostly but here we go as they turn on the ipad for the cool news all right so are we live right now anyways guys uh we are live right now on on cool fm uh cool fm uh we are like we are can be heard on HD one, HD two, and we are also seen on TVH, TVH Network's YouTube channel right now, along with, along on cable TV via Cool TV. Okay, so let's go ahead and start it. All right, uh, let me check the stream if we are live right now. Let me just double check. Okay, so we have two people watching. So, good morning, viewers who are currently watching right now. So, hello, hello, hello. All right. Let's begin with poll news today. Stand by for poll news today. We are going to do a few headlines of poll news today. All right, back and we will be moving to right here. <laughs> Okay, so as you all know, um, okay, so as you all know, uh, I took over my Tulogun, my Tulogun, uh, last night. Uh, it was a, a lot of blast, and well, you know, you all know something happened because TCP was showing some inappropriate live on stream. Nako, nako, nako ko na. So. I don't know how did that happen, but TCP has already apologized uh, in the statement yesterday in, in Yo Discord server. So let's read the statement from Yo. Let's say, I mean, let's read the statement from TCP. Let's see what it says here. Oh, here it is. Where is it? All right. So this is the apology statement from from TCP regarding regarding the incident that showed that TCP actually showed something live on stream during my Tulogan, I want to express my deepest apologies for the inadvertent uh, pro broadcast of inappropriate content during my recent appearance. I want to assure everyone that it was never my intention to show such material, and I deeply regret any offense or discomfort caused. The incident occurred due to unforeseen circumstances, and I take full responsibility. And I am committed to defying the situation and ensuring that it never happens again. Please accept my sincere apologies. That, that's what that's that's 
what TCP said regarding uh, the incident that happened earlier during my Tulagan last night. Anyway, so yes, um, the story time for uh, story time with uh, how I how I did with story time on how I <laughs> took over my Tulagan. So basically, nothing much. I just had fun talking about what I can discuss and what I can discuss. Basically, most notably technology, and I was showing off. Oh boy, the YouTube thingy too. Is that, is that amazing? Along with that, along with that, guys, um, it was really fun. No, not really. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. It's really fun because I was in the talks with TCP and uh, not not TCP, TJCEN, who is the anchor of Cool News at Five. Uh, we 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 are both anchors of Cool News at Five every weekdays. So, uh, uh, he's a really he's a well respected anchor out there. We had lots of fun, and for oddly enough, the VC was renamed not not the VC the stage name was renamed from My Tulagan to Casper's Cafe. <laughs> Real, so that's really interesting. Oh yeah, and yes, now let's now talk what's coming. What's 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 up with technology right now? Let's see. Let me look it up. But yeah, basically, we also talked about Apple's removal, Apple's removal, Apple's official removal of activation lock. Yeah, you're right. Apple's official removal of activation, uh, cloud active, iCloud lock, uh, or should I say activation lock? Yes. All right. Well, it <laughs> looks like we have some interesting piece right here. Google app is once again testing a bottom search bar redesign on android oh, oh boy the first time we see we saw bottom search bar for the google app was in 20.1 while we enable a modernized version in late 2023 google is now testing a material 3 bottom bar redesign with an integrated search field at least one user today has encountered this bottom bar redesign in google search on android for starters it's finally using material 3 with a pill shape that indicator that has rolled out on the app iOS version but was seemingly abundant on Android after the brief world I was pushed. That said, the Google apps changed us in the Play Store listing feature. Oh, guys, interesting. Uh, um, let me just show you right now. Uh, there be, can you switch the, can you switch the uh, feed to Discord, please? I'm gonna be showing the camera to everyone here. All right, so what you're going to see right now, hold on. Stand by. Okay, uh, let me switch the camera. Oh, boy. Okay, so as you can see, okay, as you can see here, this is the, as you can see, this is the, uh, what the current one looks like, and this is what the new one is. So this, this, this is right here, that right here, guys, is the, Bottom, uh, bottom bar, uh, redesign here, right here. <laughs> what, what are your thoughts so far, chat? This could this be convenient, and can this be more? Can this be more accessible and easy to na navigate? What do you think so far? Okay, so now back to the studio. Let's continue. Above the bottom bar is the call search field that previously only appeared at the top of the discovery. At the moment, the picker variant disappears on the actual search results page. In the redesign, there are some consistency, though it looks cosmically large. Over the combined search field and bottom bar, makes, make use of a sheet container. One complaint would be that it takes up more space that could be used for results, but the Google, Google logo no longer appears at the very, very top with the search Filters immediately appearing instead. Instead of dynamic color, the default blue tint is used. It does stand out against the search results page. Oh, well, well, well. That's interesting. I will be showing the camera again so you can just get a glance of what, how Google App has evolved. You guys, can you tell the difference? Here it is. So this is 2021. Huh? This is 2021. This is 2021, what it looked like here. 2023, which you can see uh, the current, I believe the current Google 
uh, state right there. And in 2024, right here, guys, in 2024, right here, this is the <laughs> another redesigned Google app in, in the home page. That's a lot of redesigns, bro. I can't imagine how Google is doing this every time. Oh, boy. But yeah, what do you think? Do you think Google should be limiting this or do you think, oh wait, let me check the chat. Okay, they're inactive, but that's okay. But do you think this is going, this is convenient of Google we keep, keep redesigning it or do you think it's uh, just too much? No. All right, coming up on, coming up on Hello Pilipinas, we will be sharing some lifestyle tips and we will share some lifestyle tips and tips on how to stay hydrated during during the during the hottest hot season and of course more cool news more of that when we return on hello Pilipinas. we will be right back And we're back to Hello Filipinas. Thanks for still sticking around with us. As as we all know, as we all know, let's start with the lifestyle tips for today. Let's start with the lifestyle tips. Oh, uh, so here are the tips where we will be sharing what you all, what you need to know. Seven tips to live a happier life. So if so, this is it. Do you wake up feeling sluggish most mornings? Have coffee, coffee intended beverages become a necessity to help you power up you to rock through the day? If this sounds familiar, it's time to ditch the quick fix, quick fixes you rely on and develop an energy management plan. This is coming from Mayo Clinic Health System. Getting started may seem done. Uh, dazzling, but soon you will be energized to keep going once you recap the benefits of a healthier, happier, healthier, and more productive lifestyle. What is the energy management, if you're wondering? Think of your energy as a limited resources like money in an amount. You begin, you begin the day with a certain amount to spend. The amount varies from person to person based on factors such as age, sleep, stress level, medical conditions, and lifestyle. Activities and interactions redraw energy from or deposit energy into your account. While you may not always have control over activities that deplete your energy, you can take steps to deposit more energy into your account. So here are the seven tips to increase your energy and live a happy, healthier, more productive life. I will uh, after this tip, we will I will also be sharing on how to stay hydrated, especially during this this season where it where the weather is extremely hot let's start number one eat nourishing food a well balanced healthy diet is at the core of well-being but it's common to regard to regard healthy eating primary as a tool for weight loss according to the 2020 dietary guidelines of for americans a balanced diet high in fruits and vegetables lean protein low fat dairy and whole grains is needed for optimal energy you really are what you eat. Consume a variety of foods from all the group food groups to get a range of nutrients to provide energy throughout the day. Opt for fresh or frozen fruits and vegetables, vegetables, especially nutrient dense dark leafy greens and broccoli, as well as orange vegetables like carrots and sweet potatoes. You can choose from many types of fish and legumes to choose from for healthy protein options. Aim to eat three ounces for of whole grain cereals, bread, rice, or pasta daily. Sleep seven hours, seven to eight hours per night. Prioritizing sleep is one of the best things you can do to set yourself up for a successful, energized day. Sleeping deprivation can perpetuate serious health conditions as well as negatively impact your mood motivation, and energy levels. Getting quality sleep is the healthy habit many people need to improve. Most adults need at least seven to eight hours of shut eyes each night. So what 
prevents them from getting it. Observe your sleep patterns if you struggle with sleep. Take note of how much you sleep each night, factors that contribute to your sleep or lack of it, how rest you feel, and how much energy you have during your day. Then try sleep strategies to improve your sleep, like relaxing, uh, creating a relaxing and restful environment, minimizing light and noise, establishing a bedtime routine, managing stress, and turning off electronic devices. Whatever you decide to start with, be consistent. Utilizing the same sleep routine and sleep strategies will help develop your body's internal alarm clock and can lead to improved sleep quality. While with sleep, with improved sleep quality, people experience better health and improve emotional well-being, lower risk of diabetes, and are more productive. Number three, keep company with good. Keep company with good people. Maximize the amount of time that you spend with the people you enjoy being around. Connecting with others who radiate positivity and have similar interests will excite and energize you. On the other side, people you don't relate to or who have negative outlooks, complain often, or make poor choices will only drain your energy account. Be selective about the company you keep. It's important to set limits and boundaries to protect yourself and conserve your energy when around people who do not refill your energy reserves. Number four, avoid news overdose. So if you are stressed with politics, this is a good time to rest. Consuming news is an important way to stay connected to what's happening in the world. It can be educational, entertaining, and even uplifting. Unfortunately, the news too frequently is filled with stories of suffering. These stories can skew, skew your view of the world and cause you to focus on your worst fears instead of recognizing the good that surrounds you. You can't avoid these stories altogether, but try to minimize your exposure when you can especially during trying times. Number five, get regular exercise. Do you find yourself feeling literate halfway through the, day, through the day? Have you ever gotten ridden by simple everyday duties such as grocery shopping or household chores? The Department of Health and Human Services, that's in the US, recommends that adults complete at least, at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity each week. Contrary to what you might believe, this will add to your energy account and not subtract from it. Exercise relieves stress and tensions, strengthens muscles and boosts endurance, and helps your body work more efficiently during other physical tasks or activities. Well, number six, number six, do, do something meaningful each day. What do you feel passionate about? Do you have a special talent that you would like to practice more often or share with others? Do something you enjoy every day, even if it's a simple act like cooking a healthy meal or listening to your favorite song. Putting effort into the things that matter most of to you will help you use and reserve your energy in ways that will bring out the best in you. And finally, number seven, think good thoughts for others. Maintaining a compassionate mindset is another way to conserve energy. One example of practicing this way of thinking is called kind attention. For example, try to make eye contact with a stranger and smile. While thinking I wish you well, this positive act can instead keep you, keep you from judging that person. Judging others can cause us to place judgment on ourselves, and that of negative in, internal dialogue can be exhausting. You will feel better with each step you take towards this important self-care investment. So again, so here are the simple activities. So and lastly, here are the simple few Activities that will help you become more mindful of caring for yourself. Monitor your energy. That's the important thing. Take your energy temperature at various points throughout the day. Assigning, assigning it a number from 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest energy level. Pay attention to the details of your day so you can identify the pe people or events that, you impact the that impact you the most. Make instrumental changes. Once you are aware of some of the people or events that sabotage your energy, Consider your next steps. Rather than tackling everything and watch, choose an area that is important to you and be realistic with the goals you set. For instance, if this organization in your home is a big source of daily stress, pick one cabinet closer or drawer to clear out each week instead of overwhelming yourself when doing it all at once. Then move on to your next goal when you feel ready. And finally, plan and prioritize. Take note of the times during the day when your energy levels tend to be the highest. Decide how you can take advantage of those moments by prioritizing 
important task when you are feeling fresh and productive. That's how you can make, so that's how you can start living with a ha happier life. If you follow all of the these tips, it's going to work. And I can assure you this will help you become a, make your help, make the most of your healthier life. All right, so let's move on to now talking about the hot, the hottest season in the Philippines. So as we all know, as we all know, uh, as we all know, we all have been suffering. The, there has been reports about school suspensions a lot, a lot due to the hot weather, and and it's and and that resulted in class suspensions because of. That resulted in class suspensions because of the hottest season, and 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 you might not like it when you get uh, body exposed. when you get your body exposed. So once again, <laughs> this is why I'm going to be sharing some tips on how to stay hydrated during the hot, hot, hottest weather, especially if you're at home, and when you when you when you're not in school because your 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 CD. Or Barangay suspended class because of the that reason. Okay, so let's let's start on how to stay. Let's begin. So this is how you can stay hydrated. We um, will be quick here. Do not uh, always drink water. Always drink water. Don't oh don't drink too much. Don't drink soft drinks a lot. <laughs> yeah, sure you can drink uh soft drinks. I'm I'm doing this. I'm re repeating this from geometric yesterday. Uh, from uh, that appeared in Hello Filipinas, but always drink water. That's always the important thing. Always drink water, no matter what. Always drink water. It's very important to stay. That's number one thing to stay hydrated during during, during hot season. Uh, and don't go outside unless it's necessary. Because what if? Because at times there can be a uh, uh, heat, dangerous heat that can affect your body, or even worse, you will suffer. The body will suffer, and it can hurt. So don't go outside unless absolutely needed. Just stay at home. Just stay at home. Do some uh, exercises inside your home. That's all I can say. And lastly, and lastly, if you're at, if you're, if you are, if you guys are studying, uh. At school or college, and if your school has uh, shifted uh, methods to alternative modes like online class, then then go with with that method instead because because that will while that will that while that's the solution to not going outside because of the hot season that will help you continue studying that will enhance your learning. That's all of the tips I can share right now on how to stay hydrated and how to stay safe during hot season. All right, with that, now let's continue with cool news today. Let's begin with peanuts. Let's, let's, let's continue with, with, let's continue with some, some stories of, that are not related to real world news, but we will be sharing some uh, game, uh, gaming, I guess, because gaming is one of my right now so let's go talk about what's happening in the gaming industry let's go let's go let's go talk about it okay so let's see what this does okay here we go uh, so this is uh from coming from bloomberg uh this is a gaming news uh, by the way dragon quest series executive producer you care to step down long time good dragon quest series executive producer you make a to Miyake will step down from overseeing Dragon Quest games to heat up Square Enix uh, smartphone games, according to the Bloomberg report, citing people familiar with the matter. The, the move reportedly comes following delays in developing the next installment of the series. Mike, who joined Enix in 1990, has been credited as a, a, the executive producer on the Dragon Quest series since the release of Dragon Quest Monsters Joker in 2006. He was First credited in a Dragon Quest game as production staff on Dragon Quest V and of the Heavenly Bright in 1992. 
In 2004, he the chief producer on the Broken Quest B and of the Heavenly Bright remake for PlayStation, PlayStation 2, as well as one of the chief, produce, chief producers on Dragon Quest uh, 8, I think. Yeah, 8. Dragon Quest 8, Journey of the First King. According to Bloomberg, my case moved to Smart Grid Games as part of a large scale record organization that took effect on April 1, which will see Square Enix overhaul its game development pipeline. To help the company rely less on external resources and focus more on in-house AAA titles. Yusuke 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 Sato, best known for his role as a producer of the Nier series, is a strong candidate to take over Miyake's role, the people told, told Bloomberg. Uh, Sato was previously a producer on Dragon Quest VI, Echoes of an elusive age as well as Dragon Quest X Online from versions 1 to 4.2. Oh boy, and now we're gonna talk about Stellar Blade. So as we all know, Stellar Blade is one of the hardest uh, gaming topic right now being talked about right now. Oh, even, I don't even, I can even see Rep says this, we're talking about, I can even see Rep uh, talking about, about, about this thing. And also, aside from Stellar Blade, they're talking about this Company called Sweet Baby Incorporated, where it's supposed where it's pushing DAI, uh, diversity, equality, and, and I was what's it, what's it, what's it again? Diversity, equality, and inclusion. Yes, and people are rejecting it so hard that they don't want to push political agenda in the games. I have to agree with that. I don't want the political agenda to be pushing in, 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 in the video games because video games are supposed to be fun. And Rap uh, says this with speaking the truth. If I'm going to be honest, just just listen to this guy. He's he's speaking his truth about this. You're you're gonna no, you're not gonna believe how Sweet Baby Incorporated is trying attempting to destroy the fun of video games. Just listen to this. It's a guys repair. So over the past couple of weeks, we've talked a lot about DEI initiatives and how they have been weaponized to introduce woke nonsense into the video game industry. We've talked a lot about Sweet Baby Inc. This is a consulting firm that uses DEI principles and uses that as a vehicle to inject woke nonsense into many different titles. And we have seen the disastrous results of what they have done and the games that they have ruined not to mention the absolutely toxic attitude that has been fostered by these programs where you have many developers and alike who are going around openly expressing their hatred of gamers, of white people, and of men and many other groups. Yeah, you heard that right. It's, that's what that, that consulting firm of video game does. That's why people are really fighting back. They don't want to put, they don't want the video games to be not fun. They don't want uh, political agenda in the games. So why, 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 do, why do, are they pushing this? This is so bad. It's not fun. Okay, and I'm reading the comments. No wonder fiction set in a dystopia is not as popular anymore. We're already living in one. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I mean, no offense about the diversity. I mean, I, I, I respect them, but Political agenda is just too much. I don't like having. I don't want to see a political in in video games. Why do we? Why do we need political agenda though? That's not. That's not cool. Too much. I don't like having. I don't want. To see Wait. I want to. I want to see that. Her. That has a vehicle to inject woke nonsense. Mm -hmm. Just, just oh, let me this see. guy. This is this thing is. Wait. Let me hear the stream. Yeah. So Anyway, so yeah, there you go. So I was just watching the stream, and pretty much it's it, it's being heard on the stream. Okay, so yeah. Well, I don't think video games should be should have a, a political agenda because uh, this is just not cool and it's not fun. Okay, guys. So now let's now let's just now let's now while we're at it, we will be checking the main chat room and yo, what's happening here? So it looks like according to it looks like according to Puyo Puyo Chi, the power of secondary radio audio Eagle FM on nine twenty five uh, DTT and solid. 
TV is renamed channel feature. Okay, so this is interesting. Very interesting to see that. And oh yes, as of right now, Jibney TV is airing is airing your name. So yes, that is not part of this year's Holy Week lineup as we as we expected because ABS EBS uh, is doing differently with the Holy Week lineup th this year. But your name right now is being aired on Jibney TV. I think this is the first time seeing Jibney TV airing anime movie. Could this be the first time? Maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. So, what else do I see interesting here in the chat? Oh, oh, holy cam! T G O N P G have an advisory reel. Oh boy, let's see. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my god you are absolutely right i can see the tgo and advisory <laughs> holy 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 and bobo got just also posted the uh, therapy tv1 <laughs> that shows this Tigo too holy 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 oh <laughs> <laughs> it shows the question why because therapy the nice uh Aaron Testy go on therapy TV one. And now for some satire news, uh for some satire news, as we all know, as Gio said yesterday, as Gio said yesterday, uh all five networks including uh SBD, uh Cheat TV, uh Telefocus, and GBD, I forgot the other one. We're all shut down because we're all we're, we're forced to shut down. Oh yeah, there you go, Hydra. This is just a sat satire. Don't take it too seriously. But yeah, it's sad to see that the networks have already been shut down. But I mean, they're already back on air since this was really just a joke anyway. Oh, uh, anyways, I'm gonna have to go get drink some water. But coming up on Hello Filipinas, there will be some tech tech. Uh, Tech stuff that I am going in the that I mean there will be some tech stuff I will be sharing more. Oh, this uh, with that. Hello, Filipinas. We will turn off to these messages right here. Hello, Filipinas, and we will be right back. We are back to Hello Filipinas. Welcome back, and thanks for still sticking around with us. Okay, as promised, we will be talking about the tech stuff that I will be sharing. So, yes. All right, so let's continue with what's happening in the tech industry. Let me go to. What is that called? Tech Radio, I think. Or The Verge. Oh, yeah, okay, let's go to The Verge. Let's see what's happening here so far. Oh, I heard, I just heard the, I just heard the, oh, Jerry Mobile, who's that? Who's that? Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Who's here with us today? Oh, hey, Foden. Hello, Foden. Welcome to Hello Filipinas. Uh, play this, play Jerry Mobile sound effects. Oh, Foden. Foden. Yes, there you go. Yeah, Cherry Boba. Okay. 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 Guys, guys, guys. okay, guys, so, well, we have some new, we have some really, really big news. If you are into retro games, uh, if you're into playing retro games on iPhone, well, finally, Apple is opening it, app opening the retro game emulators to app stores this is huge this is finally huge so apple is loosening the its app store restrictions and opening the marketplace up to retro game emulators this is coming from the verge in an update on friday apple announced that game emulators can come to the app store globally and offer downloadable games apple says those games must comply with all applicable uh, applicable downloads though 
an indication that, will, that it will ban apps that provide pirated titles. The move should allow the retro console emulators already on Android, at least those that are left, to bring their apps to the iPhone. Game emulators have long been banned from iOS, leaving phone owners in search of workarounds via jailbreaking or other workarounds. They're also one of the key reasons so, that, so far that iPhone owners in the European Union might check out third-party app stores now that they're allowed in the region. Apple's change today could head that off. Alongside the new rules on emulators, Apple also updated its rules around super, chap, super apps such as WeChat. It now says the mini games and mini apps within this apps must use HTML5, clarifying that they can they can't be native apps and games. The change seems to come in response to the, the antitrust lo lawsuit filed by the United States, which accuses Apple of attempting to stomp out both cloud game streaming apps and super apps. Apple recently started letting cloud streaming services like Xbox One, I mean, not Xbox One, Xbox Cloud Gaming and GeForce Now onto the App Store. Outside the US, Apple seems to be responding in a, to pressure from the European, European Commission. In another rule app update today, the company said it will now allow music streaming apps in the European Union to provide in app links that point users toward outside purchases and mention, excuse me, mention price information. It will also allow developers to invite to I mean provide their email address for the express purpose of sending them a link to the developer's website to purchase <clears throat> digital music content for or services. After the commission called Apple's anti-steering rules illegal, Spotify attempted to update its app with links to its website to purchase subscriptions, but it didn't receive approval from Apple for weeks. Spotify still isn't happy with Apple's most recent change, however, as Apple is still planning to charge a commission on purchases made through outside links, despite EU Commissioner Margaret uh, uh, Vestager saying Apple must allow music streaming apps to communicate freely with users. Following the law is not optional, but Apple continues to defy that decision. As uh, Spotify spokesperson Jeannie Moran Sells the Verge. Effective April 6, the commission can start non compliance proceedings and impose daily fines. It's time for decisive, decisive uh, action to, for, to once and for all give consumers a real choice. Either way, this is a big win win for everyone. I don't know if this is only going to apply in European Union, but I have to say that Apple allowing retro game emulators. If, if if you're if you're into emulating retro video games, I can say this is a huge win-win, huge win-win for everyone. It's a big win for consumers. Honestly, I think Apple is doing a right job, a right move, because of the pressure of the EU. I can applaud EU uh, and the Apple for making this move. This is a big win-win for everyone. Okay, so what's next here? What else is interesting in tech right now? <clears throat> Oh boy, oh boy, okay, here it is. Open AI transcribe, transcribe over a million hours of YouTube videos to train GPT-4. This is interesting. This is coming, this is from New Times reports, it, it seems. Earlier this week, the Wall Street Journal reported that AI companies were running into a wall when it comes to, to gathering high quality training data. Today, the New York Times detailed some of the companies some of the ways companies have dealt with this, Unsur unsurprisingly, it involves doing th things that fall into the hazy gray area of AI copyright law. The story opens on a open AI, which desperate for training data. Training data reportedly developed its whisper audio dis dis transcription model to get over the hump, describing over a million of YouTube videos to train GPT-4, its most advanced large language model. That's according to the New York Times. Again, that's again that's according to New York Times, which reports that the company knew this was legally questionable but believed it to be fair use. Open AI president Greg Brockman was personally involved in collecting videos that were used. The Times writes. 
OpenAI spokesperson Lindsay Held hold, told The Verge in an email that the company creates unique data sets for each of its models to help their understanding of the world and maintain its global research competitiveness. Held added that the company uses numerous resources, including publicly available data and partnerships for non-public data, and that it's and that it's looking into generating its synthetic data. The Times article says that the company exhausted supplies <clears throat> excuse me, of useful data in 2021 and discussed transcribing YouTube videos by uh, YouTube videos, podcasts, and audiobooks after blowing through uh, the resources. Oh, hold on. I might go get my water. But then it had, tra it had trained its model on data that included computer code from GitHub. Uh, chess book database and schoolwork content from Quizlet. Google spokesperson Matt Matt Bryan told The Verge in an email email that the company has seen unconfirmed reports of OpenAI's activity, adding that both our robots that text files and terms of service. Pro prohib prohibit unauthorized scrap scraping or downloading of YouTube content. Echoing the company's terms of use. YouTube CEO Neil Morhan said similar things about the possibility that OpenAI used YouTube to train its Sora video generating models this week. Brand said Google takes technical and legal measures to prevent such unauthorized excuse me, use when we have a clear legal or technical basis to do so. Google gathered Transcripts from YouTube, according to the Times sources. Brian said that the company has trained its models on some YouTube content in accordance with our agreement with YouTube creators. The right the Times writes that Google Department, the legal department asked the company privacy team to tweak its policy language to ex to expand what it could do with consumer data, such as its office tools like Google Docs. The new policy was reportedly intentionally released on April 1, um, July 1st, I'm sorry, to take advantage of the destruction of the Independence Day uh, Holy Weekend. Holiday Weekend. I'm sorry, Holiday Weekend. Meta likewise bumped against the limit of good training data, ability, availability, and any records, any recordings the Times heard. The, its AI team discussed its unpermitted use of copyright works while working to catch up to one to open AI. The company, after going through almost available English language book, essay, poem, and news articles on the internet, apparently con consider taking steps like paying for book licenses or even buying a larger large publisher outright. It was also apparently limited in the ways it could use consumer data by privacy focus changes it made in the wake of the Cambridge An Analytica scandal. Google, OpenAI, and the broader AI training world are wrestling with quickly evolving training data <clears throat> for the models, which get better the more data they observed. Uh, observed. The, the journal wrote this week that companies may outpace new content by 2028. Possible solutions to that problem mentioned by the journal on Monday include on on Monday, include training models on synthetic data created by their own models, or so-called clinical learning, which involves feeding models high-quality data in an ordered fashion in hopes that they can use make smarter connections between concepts using far less information. But neither approach is proven yet. But the company's other option is using whether they can find whether they have permission or not, and based on multiple lawsuits found in the last year or so. That way is, <clears throat> let's say, more than a little from squat. And uh, that's very interesting piece of article I have read. I was, <laughs> yeah, that, that this news surprised me a lot because what I have not learned, what I have not learned so far is that that open AI transcribed a million, more a million hours of YouTube videos. And thankfully, most of the videos are fair use. 
so it should not infringe the copyright issues i i should say but but i but, but yeah that, it's fair use so that's a good thing <coughs> excuse me <coughs> time check right now it's 9 47 a.m so we have 13 minutes before we end the show of hello filipinas okay so <coughs> Well, uh, so this Sunday we will this Sunday we we will be sharing one of the recommendations of. Oh, okay, here it is. So actually, before we we even discuss that, um, Foden has shared some interesting pieces of <clears throat> what some writings, right? Wait, let me check the DMs. Someone's DM. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, sorry. Okay, so yeah. How many people have we have here? Okay, so it's still same people right now. But yeah. Okay, so now let's move on to some watch list I will recommend if you are lo if you're getting into anime. Well let me start here. So obviously free event is a must watch. It's a must watch anime because very good story. It 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 shows it shows how Freelance started along with the original team. So it's a very good it's a very good day it's a very good anime to start with. If you're into fantasy, Freelance is absolute a must watch. So Freelance is the one I can recommend. And and if you and I want and some one hundred. So if you're into some 100 if uh, like for zombies well i can i say i recommend that too because this is covering the about the boy who has been overworking and he lost he and then when the zombie when the zombie uh, infection came well that's how it began but yeah some 100 is another one and also the recent uh spring 2024 show anime that i watched yesterday after my total gun was Ice Jellyfish Can't Swim in the Night. The first episode is very interesting, but I will be monitoring to see how that show goes. But the first episode is very good. So this is all about the, the girls where they are sh <clears throat> showing their, their interest in hop interest in their music, I think. But first episode is pretty good. So I can say Jellyfish can swim in the night. The first episode is good, but I can't say if I'm gonna be recommending this. But this is this is possible that it will be in the watch list that you should be watching and for the anime stuff. <clears throat> now that's it for me. Uh, now let's, let's see in the chat. What are guys? So here's the question: What are your watch lists right now? TV shows, movies, anything? What do you recommend? Chat. Type it in the chat. Uh, what do you guys recommend? Our captor Sakura. Yeah. Hello Filipina started late. Yes, it did because yes it did because I was a deep sleep and I was really tired, so Yes, it did. I was a deep sleep and I was really tired, so Yeah. I stay up late uh, a while ago because of the conference. But yeah, we I started late on purpose and but yeah, we didn't meant to start late, but Hello, Filipinas is extended until 10 a.m. So don't we are in on we, we should not worry before the you know, weekend takes place. Or unless there's no DJ Jim key, well, basic automation that is. But yeah. Okay, so yeah. Uh, once again, why we started Hello Filipinas late is that I woke up late. I didn't. I realized there was no worship hour. Because Stefan announced that Worship Hour returns next week because he's he's not he's, again he's not with us he's in a physical church right now so yeah but yeah hopefully we will be back at the usual time slot next week but on Saturday hopefully yes yeah, Saturday since Cola Fam signed on uh, late as well eight thirty <laughs> eight thirty we also signed on very late.
Oh yeah, he was in the church. Yep, I was right. He was absolutely in the church. So yeah, he he he's sending some photos as he, we speak. Also, the same camera Zoe TV uses for Balitang A to C. That's interesting. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, that's interesting. Very interesting, Stephen. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Um, think I think we will. I uh, think we will keep going until ten a.m. ten a.m. hits. But again, I will again just to notify people. There will be no cool news at today at eleven. But there will be cool news at noon. But no cool news at four and five. But there will be cool news at six and ten. Again, once again, that's because there are no assigned anchors that we can't find. So if you are interested in anchoring a weekend edition of Cool News, uh, you can, you are feel free to reach it out. If you're one of the cool DJs there, feel free to reach me out there and we can discuss what are the requirements to become the Cool News uh, anchor for the weekend editions. So yeah, your help will be appreciated if you can do Cool News today at at eleven at eleven on weekends, as well as long as as well as with cool news at four and five. But for now, this is just a start. This is the phase one of the cool news revamp. No cool news at no I mean no cool no cool news today at eleven. No cool news at four and five on weekends. That's I said. Oh it cool. No cool news today at four not four, not I'm sorry. No cool news today at eleven AM. For no cool news today, no cool news at four and five on weekends, huh? On weekends, but all of the all of the editions, ex including the uh cool news, uh, cool news today, are really up this in between six a.m. to nine a.m. Cool news today at eleven, cool news at noon, cool news at four, cool news at five, cool news at six, and cool news at ten on weekdays will continue as. As a, as planned because we have uh, available anchors on the set on the set dates. Okay, so I wonder if Stephen's on TV. So, <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, so yeah. Okay, so let's do the last search here. I think I'm gonna talk about. I'm mean, gonna we'll be talking about some showbiz news now. It will not be part of cool news, but it will be some show, some front showbiz probably. <laughs> oh wait, where is it? Okay, so. Entertainment. Oh, okay. So, okay. So there we have. So now we have a match. So, so MMDA announces film as film Man Manila Film Festival. So, so the, if you got if you're into MMDA, well, we are the festival calendars. That life from the submission of the letter of intent is May fifteen. Submission of scripts and other record documents June fourteen. Submission of finished film based on script submission. September 30, Pride of Stars, December 15. December 15 will be the show of, of Manila Film Festival, which is from December 25 to 7, December 25, 2024 to January 7, 2025. Oh, shoot. I'm not in Roblox. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not in Roblox because I'm being idle. Hold on. Let me reconnect. <laughs> oh, boy. Another embarrassing broadcast moments. Okay, I'm back in the Roblox now, so let's go. Let's go get that back here. Where am I? Okay, I'm here. All right, so yeah, now we're. I'm now back in the Roblox, so you could you see me on the table now in the stream. All right, so let's see what else do I have here. 
wonder if DJ Kimchi is already here so he can start uh, his Pinoy weekend after Hello Filipinas. Let's see, let me mention him. Uh, Arcadia. Okay, okay, I already reminded him that he will be getting ready for <clears throat> you know weekend <coughs> in Maron. If not, well, it will be delayed probably to ten thirty. But yeah, let's close this. Let's let's close this. Uh, hello, Filipinas, with with the uh, with the inspiring quotes. Oh, I just heard a sound effect. <laughs> Okay, so we will end the show with this quote. With two quotes, actually. The best, and, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt in the, with the heart. Helen Keller. And the best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. H. Jackson Brown, Jr. Whoa, that's very, that's, that's a very cool. That's a very, very cool to, to start your mornings or with, to start with these quotes. And as, as, as they say, the best prevention for tomorrow is doing your best today. Yes. Do your best today, everyone. And do your best today. That's all I can say. Do your best. No matter what you're trying to do, whenever you're do dealing with hard assignments, hard, hard chores, or you, you're living in a stress or stressful situation, you just to overcome and do your best. That's it. That's one thing you should do. And yes. And, and yeah, that's one thing you can do. Doing your best is really important with your effort and such. That's one of the best ways you can start and with your day. If, you, if, you're, if you're ever feeling or overwhelmed, don't, don't it, just take a deep breath and do your best. That's it for cool. That's I'm sorry. That ladies and gentlemen, that's it for Hello Filipinas this week. I hope you have yourself a wonderful morning, and I will. We will be back next week on at seven a.m. Not eight thirty a.m. as we did earlier. So I apologize for the late time slots, but we will be back again next week. Saturday, 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. right here on 99.5 Cool FM, TVH Network's YouTube channel, and Cool TV on cable TV. I am Asphir, and good morning, and hello, Filipinas! Bye, everyone! Bye. 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 Bye.